Radionecrosis is a medical condition characterized by the death of cells and tissues in the body due to exposure to ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation includes high-energy particles and electromagnetic waves, such as X-rays and gamma rays, which have enough energy to remove tightly bound electrons from atoms, leading to chemical changes and potential damage to biological tissues. Here, we will discuss radionecrosis in detail, including its causes, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment options. Causes of radionecrosis Radionecrosis typically occurs as a side effect of radiation therapy, which is a common treatment for various forms of cancer. Radiation therapy is used to target and kill cancer cells by damaging their DNA and inhibiting their ability to reproduce. However, because radiation is not highly selective and affects surrounding healthy tissues to some extent, radionecrosis can develop in these healthy tissues. Symptoms of radionecrosis The symptoms of radionecrosis can vary depending on the location and severity of the damage. Common symptoms include Pain Patients may experience persistent, severe pain in the affected area. Skin changes in cases where the skin is affected, there may be visible changes, such as redness, blistering, and ulceration. Swelling. Swelling of the affected area can occur due to inflammation and tissue damage. Open sores. Radionecrosis can lead to the development of non-healing wounds or ulcers. Bowel or bladder dysfunction. If radiation therapy has targeted the abdominal area, patients may experience bowel or bladder dysfunction. Neurological symptoms. In cases where radionecrosis affects the brain or spinal cord, neurological symptoms like headaches, seizures, and changes in mental function may occur. Diagnosis. Diagnosing radionecrosis typically involves a combination of clinical evaluation and medical imaging. Doctors may use the following techniques to diagnose the condition. Physical examination. A doctor will assess the patient's symptoms and conduct a physical examination to identify areas of concern. Imaging studies. Imaging techniques like MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, CT, computed tomography, or PET, positron emission tomography. Scans may be used to visualize the affected tissues and assess the extent of damage. Biopsy. In some cases, a tissue biopsy may be necessary to confirm the diagnosis and rule out other potential causes of tissue damage, such as infection or tumor recurrence. Treatment options. The treatment of radionecrosis depends on its severity and location. Conservative management. In mild cases, symptoms may be managed with pain medication, wound care, and other supportive measures. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy, HBOT. This involves exposing the patient to 100% oxygen in a pressurized chamber, which can promote tissue healing and reduce inflammation. Surgery. In severe cases, surgical removal of the damaged tissue may be necessary to relieve symptoms and prevent further complications. Medical therapy. Some medications, such as pentoxifiline and tocopherol, a form of vitamin E, have been used to manage radionecrosis by improving blood flow and reducing inflammation. Radiation therapy modification. If radionecrosis occurs as a result of radiation therapy, treatment plans may be adjusted to minimize further damage to healthy tissues. It's important to note that prevention is a key aspect of managing radionecrosis. Radiation therapy plans are carefully designed to minimize damage to healthy tissues, and medical professionals continuously monitor patients during and after treatment to detect and manage any potential complications. Early intervention is crucial to preventing the progression of radionecrosis and improving the patient's quality of life.